Hello. Welcome to the Horror Stories channel. Now I will tell you 10 nightmare stories from behind the scenes of The Wizard of Oz. Despite the light-hearted material, some of the stories from the set of The Wizard of Oz are quite dark. For such a beloved ostensibly whimsical film, the production of The Wizard of Oz was a never-ending carnival of misery for those who worked behind the scenes. Made in 1939, it's still widely appreciated by both children and adults in modern times. Still. There's a lot people don't know about the making of The Wizard of Oz. While some of the production details are relatively harmless, and at times even charming, you have to remember the movie was produced during the dark days of the old Hollywood studio system. So, what makes the The Wizard of Oz behind the scenes story so dark? Mix heavy drinking and depravity with a few unfortunate on-set catastrophes, add some early movie making naivety, and divide among five different film directors. Of all behind-the-scenes movie stories, The Wizard of Oz has some of the most bizarre and shocking. There's a lot more to worry about than lions and tigers and bears. The Pink Floyd syncop may be coincidence, but these stories truly show the dark side of the rainbow. Now, take a look at these Wizard of Oz facts, and see for yourself, just how treacherous filming was at times. But before I start, please click on like subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Now let's get started. Many of the actors playing Munchkins were completely unruly and inappropriate. He Munchkin actor's antics on The Wizard of Oz were, frankly, bizarre. It's said they engaged in aggressively drunken behavior, gambling, and group adult activities at the Culver Hotel where they were staying. Supposedly, one Munchkin actor even got stuck in a toilet bowl during a drunken lunch break and had to be rescued. The police were called several times to the hotel. Judy Garland was harassed and treated poorly. By many accounts, The Wizard of Oz was both the beginning and end of Judy Garland's career. Actors in the 1930s were under contract to whatever studio they signed with, and many of them were systemically mistreated and overworked. Teenage actors were often given adrenaline shots to keep them awake, and barbiturates to help them sleep. Garland was no exception. Garland was already taking pills before she was hired for Oz, but she began using them more frequently once on set. She was also given diet pills to slim down. There were also reports she was also harassed by both Munchkin actors and studio executives. In his book Judy and I, My Life with Judy Garland, the actress's late husband Sid Luff stated about her co-stars, they'd make Judy's life miserable on set by putting their hands under her dress. The men were 40 or more years old. They thought they could get away with anything because they were so small. Behind the camera, Garland was allegedly called the fat little pig with pigtails by studio execs. 3. The Wicked Witch Got Burned On Set Twice During a take of the scene in which the Wicked Witch escapes Munchkinland in a plume of smoke, the pyrotechnics were accidentally set off too early, and a trapdoor malfunctioned, causing actress Margaret Hamilton's broom, hat, and makeup to catch fire. Her face and hands were badly burned. Medics had to use alcohol to remove her toxic makeup, which was also extremely painful. After returning to work, she was asked to film the surrender, Dorothy, scene, which also required smoke effects. She refused, and her stunt double, Betty Danko took over. Danko suffered a similar injury during the scene, and was ultimately hospitalized. 4. The Tin Man was poisoned. Also twice. After Ray Bulger insisted he would make a better scarecrow, the part of the Tin Man was given to Buddy Epson. However, an allergic reaction to the aluminum powder and the silver-colored makeup forced him to be hospitalized in an oxygen tent. Apparently, no one told the cast why Epson left the production. Due to the way studio contracts functioned at the time, Jack Haley was forced into the role. The production team switched makeup to an aluminum paste, but it caused an eye infection for Haley anyway. Interestingly, Buddy Epson's voice can still be heard in a few places in the soundtrack. 5. The actors were sprinkled with toxic fake snow. In the film Dorothy, Toto and the Cowardly Lion fall asleep in a poppy field, but are magically awakened by gently falling snow. Sadly, that beautiful snowfall was created using asbestos. Asbestos fibers were often used as fake snow from the 1930s to the 1950s, both in people's homes as holiday decor, and in films such as The Wizard of Oz. It wasn't until years later that people discovered the dangers of asbestos. Far too late to help the actors exposed to the carcinogenic snow. 6. Judy Garland was slapped for laughing. 
While filming a scene in which Dorothy slaps the cowardly lion, Judy Garland supposedly had a giggling fit and was unable to finish the scene without breaking into laughter. Apparently, she couldn't bring herself to stay serious while slapping a man wearing a lion suit. According to some sources, director Victor Fleming allegedly slapped her to snap her out of it, and she delivered a flawless lion delivery on the next take. 7. The Cowardly Lion's outfit smelled awful and was made of real lions. Cowardly Lion actor Bert Lars costume was very authentic. So authentic, in fact, it consisted of real lion pelts. It allegedly weighed 90 pounds and produced an offensively unpleasant odor from having a sweaty human trapped in it all day. Laura remembers spending about three hours each day in the makeup chair, as did the Scarecrow and Tin Man. In fact, the makeup took so much time, all three actors were not allowed to take off their costumes or makeup. Their odd appearance, while in costume also frightened people dining in the commissary, so they had to eat their lunch on set. 8. There were 5 directors and more than 10 screenwriters. 5 different directors are credited with taking the helm on The Wizard of Oz. There were also more than 10 screenwriters working on the script, and it was constantly changing. Original director Norman Torog was replaced by Richard Thorpe who was replaced by George Cukor. Only working on the film for several days, he helped the musical numbers improve, but was ultimately replaced by Victor Fleming. Cukor signed on for Gone with the Wind after leaving Oz, but was fired, and was replaced once again by Fleming. Since Fleming was now absent from Oz, King Vidor finished the last few weeks of filming, adding the Kansas scenes including Over the Rainbow, which was almost cut from the final film. Victor Fleming ended up with the sole director credit, as well as the one for Gone with the Wind, since he had the biggest influence on the movie. 9. Judy Garland was forced to look younger. Originally, the producers wanted Shirley Temple to play Dorothy, but contract issues and doubts about her singing ability led them to offer the role to girl next door Judy Garland. She was asked to lose about 12 pounds, so she would more closely resemble a 12-year-old. Then 17, Garland was forced to follow a strict diet, which included cigarettes and wear a painful corset to flatten her breasts. Dorothy's look at the start of filming included blonde hair and feminine makeup, but filmmaker George Cukor decided she should look younger and less fantastic than the Technicolor world she was about to enter. 10. Margaret Hamilton's skin stayed green for weeks. In addition to being highly flammable, the Wicked Witch's green makeup was also toxic. Margaret Hamilton accidentally swallowed some and was unable to eat for days. Her skin was also stayed green for several weeks due to the copper in the makeup. Hamilton and the Tin Man weren't the only characters with makeup woes, however. The prosthetic scarecrow mask Grey Bulger wore left imprints on his face that supposedly lasted for a year. Creepy, isn't it? If you like this story, and if you are not afraid to hear even more scary stories, go to the channel and watch with pleasure. And also do not forget to subscribe, put likes and click on the bell to learn about the latest stories first.